Call on people. Hope y'all doing fantastic. For those of you that are looking to get into the trucking business or already in the trucking business, learn to do paperwork. What I mean by that is, if you're in business, you have to learn to do paperwork and understand or comprehend what paperwork means. I'll give an example. Let's say you have two businesses. One business, let's say the business does 100000 gross a year, right? doesn't matter what the industry or anything like that. Two businesses, they both do $100,000 gross a year. One business could pay $30,000 in taxes, 30%, 20, somewhere between 15 to 30% in taxes, and the other business could get money back at the end of the year, you know, when they file for their taxes. So on the paperwork, here we go. Oh, he's, he's going to attack the lease guys now. Yeah, I'm going to attack, not, I'm not going to attack you, but I want to inform you about something. Um, we're going to put conventional wisdom aside here for a second, right? Conventional wisdom. That means go with the flow and follow what everybody is saying. Mega carriers, financing institutions, and everything. Oh, let me get back onto the subject. Let's say you have a lease truck. Let's say you, you acquire, you have financing for a truck. One truck is a lease truck. The other truck is conventional, uh, like you have a conventional loan, right? What matters is the paperwork, how it's structured. The lease guy, the guy that's, or the person that's leasing the truck, you're tied to that company or you're tied to that lease. You can only do what's in that perimeters of the lease, of what they will allow you to do. You can't do anything else to it. Why? Well, hold on before I get there. Now, let's say you have a conventional loan or a regular truck loan, equipment loan. You go out, you get $100,000 or, or you get a truck. What? Right? You can take that truck anywhere. You can do anything you want to that truck within reason, right? As long as you make that payment, you ain't gonna hear nothing from nobody, right? Well, what's the difference, brother man? The difference is on the title. With the lease truck, your name isn't on the title or you're, you should have your company name on the title, right? With the lease truck, whoever is the mortgage, ho mortgage holder, whoever is the, um, the leaseor, that's whose name is on the title. Now, if it's lease purchase, they don't put your name on the title until after you complete the thing, right? With conventional financing or regular equipment financing, your name goes on the title. All you got to do is just make the payment, keep the insurance on there, keep the financing institution happy, and everything's good. <coughs> Excuse me. It's all in the paperwork. Um, other people are saying this. They're saying this stuff. I may have a different message than somebody else, but at the end of the day, some of us, some of us are still saying the same thing. Um, so, it's all in the paperwork. Um, it's all in the paperwork.